say, in my conversations with Ms Gillard at the time, she denied any impropriety in respect of, and I interpolate here, firstly, the AW Workplace Reform Association and secondly, her home renovations. Yes. So you questioned her, did you, about the Workplace Reform Association? questioned her would be right, but I had conversations with her about whether she'd done anything wrong and she assured me she hadn't and I believed her. Well, did you ask her about why she hadn't set up a file, for example? <coughs> no, I didn't. You didn't raise that at all? I don't think so. It's, it's a long time. I can't recall the conversation. Did you um, have conversations with her at the time about the circumstances in which the Workplace Reform Association was set up? <coughs> no. Well, when, when you say in my conversations with Ms Gillard at the time, she denied any impropriety in respect of the Workplace Reform Association. Well, What was the content of those well, conversations? She was, well, I don't recall the content, but she was being, she was being um, accused of wrongdoing by others within the firm, and I asked her, to the best of my, I asked her what was in it, and, and she assured me there was nothing in it. I can't recall the detail of the conversations. Um, I left it, left those conversations, um, believing that she had done nothing wrong. Um, did you give consideration to <coughs> what options were available to you and the rest of the firm at that time? I don't know what you mean. Well, did you consider the option, for example, of um, uh, advising the AWU of the, the concerns that were being expressed by various persons? Uh, I didn't. Um, I, I, was, I left there within several weeks of, of this, but... You mean you didn't give it consideration or you didn't inform the AWU? I didn't inform the AWU. Did you consider that as an option? No. Did you?